In this lesson, we're going to study one of the most important ideas in all of digital electronics, how to make a digital counter. Digital counters offer us a simple way to keep track of timing and to trigger other electronics at specific timing intervals. The digital counter that we're going to build will be a 4-bit binary counter, which means that it can count in binary from 0000 up to 1111 which, if you remember from the number systems lesson, means that it counts from 0 to 15 in decimal. The clock input to our counter telling it when to count will again be our slow 555 timer circuit, so we can watch all the changes occur. And if you're curious, you can always swap in the faster crystal oscillator to see what happens. A counter system typically doesn't require any input other than a clock input. When the clock changes from logic 0 to logic 1, the counter increments its current value by 1. So if the current value of the counter is 0011 and a clock change is detected, the counter will add 1 and the value will change from 0011 to 0100. So how do we build a digital counter circuit? Well, the easiest way would be to use D flip-flops again, since we're most familiar with them. Let's take a look through the logic diagram. The clock signal only connects to the first D flip-flops clock pin. The Q0 pin of that first D flip-flop connects to the D input pin to give an initial value of 1 when the system starts counting. After that, the first D flip-flops Q output connects to the clock input of the following D flip-flop. This type of connection follows through to all other D flip-flops in the ripple counter. This type of circuit can be a little tricky to understand, so let's take a look at the timing diagram. As always, our clock signal is the first on the diagram. The initial output of all four bits is 0000, and with each clock period, the four D flip-flops count up because of the different state changes that are occurring according to the D flip-flops truth tables that we went over so rigorously in lesson six. So as long as the clock signal is ticking away, the D flip-flops should continuously be counting up. And when they read 1111 or 15, they'll go back to zero and start counting all over again. Putting this design together into a schematic, we'll use a 555 timer in an A-stable mode as the clock and 4D flip-flops connected in the ripple counter configuration we just saw with some LEDs to show the output count value. As we just saw in the schematic, here are all the parts for this experiment. The jumper wire kit, a breadboard, the 9-volt battery, and from the components kit, 14 10 kilo ohm resistors, 5 100 ohm resistors, 5 red LEDs, a 9 volt battery connector, a 7805 5 volt regulator, a 10 and 100 microfarad capacitor, 2 7474 D flip flop ICs, a 555 timer, and if you want, you can use the crystal oscillator as a clock later on. To build our experimental 4-bit binary ripple counter, let's start with the power supply. First, the 7805 5-volt regulator goes into the breadboard, followed by the 9-volt battery connector. An orange wire connects from the 7805's ground pin to the ground bus of the breadboard. A green wire connects from the plus 5-volt output pin of the 7805 to the power bus of the breadboard. Two red wires at the bottom of the breadboard connect the power and ground buses together. Now we can place down all the ICs and from this point, step by step, follow the schematic to build the circuit. You can also pause the video while building the circuit if it helps. Now with the circuit built up, power the system up and watch the 555 timer send clock pulses to your new counter, and each time the counter will count. 
As it counts, you'll notice that it's in binary. 0000, 0, 0, 0 equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 equals 1, and so on and so forth. When the count value of 1111 or 15 is reached, the next count value resets the system back to 0. Now for some fun, let's remove the 100 microfarad capacitor in the 555 timer circuit and replace it with the 10 microfarad capacitor. Now you can see that the system is counting about 10 times faster than before. For the very curious out there, try adding the crystal oscillator as the clock for this counter and see what happens. In the real world, digital counters are used everywhere. Stopwatches, computers, wristwatches, and cell phones are just a few places where counters are used. In electronics that I have built, like this hardware VGA video card, exact timing was necessary, and so digital counters were used. However, like the shift register, we rarely use flip-flops to make our own counters because the 74HC193 already exists and it is a single IC counter with more features. A 74193 IC is included in the components kit for you to play with, so take a look and see what you can do with it. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. With two design experiments under our belts, it is time to move to something more complex. Next time, we'll make an LED chaser, and it'll be awesome.